what you're aiming to get is a nice brown color like that and then when you flip over that's how it looks on the other side good morning good morning happy new year what's up y'all jumbo jumbo this is the day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is sharon aka wabaraka and i am back again today with another interesting video if you're new here you are very welcome please feel at home if you are a returning subscriber you're very welcome thank you for always coming back to watch my videos and to support me so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go down there on youtube there's that red button press it subscribe and support my channel as i do what i do now in today's video i am about mkenyumbani again it's about cooking that's why i've got my apron on and i'm going to be cooking for you chapatis today so for disclaimers i am not a professional chef i do this at home i'm just an ordinary woman who cook for her family and i just want to share with you my cooking journey with you so let's make some chapatis so for the ingredients it's very simple i've got sugar i've got some salt some hot water that i'm going to add there i'm mixing moiko and that's just a spoon to measure the sugar and the flour so i normally like the atta flour the brown one that's what i'm going to use to make my chapatis i find it more healthy than the pure white one i'm not advertising for any company but this is what i prefer cooking with myself i'm also going to need some oil so i normally like using this ghee one when i'm making my chapatis purely because it makes the chapati softer than the ordinary cooking oil that we use so let's start now the mixing always make sure your hands are clean and washed before you start any cooking you don't want to cook with dirty hands What I'm going to do is I'm going to add hot water. This is already boiled hot water. I'm going to add about two cups. That should give us enough chapatis. And then you add a little bit of salt, just a tiny little bit, like a pinch. And I'm going to add sugar as well. Again, not too much, like about a spoonful of sugar. A spoon should be enough. And the flour. Remember the water is boiling, so what you want to use is something to mix with. You don't want to touch hot water with your hands, otherwise you're going to burn them. And what I normally do is I use a cup to measure as I pour and as I mix. So you want to add as much flour as possible to bring it into a nice dough. If it's not thick enough, you add more. But again, when it starts becoming thick, you want to be careful not to add too much, otherwise they are going to become too dry.
The spatula that I use is nice because it's bendy. If you can get one that's bendy, it will be nice so that you can take all the flour on the side. So what you want to do during the mixing is, this is oil, I've put it in a cup, is add the oil onto the chapati dough. And I do this to prevent putting it as you're rolling. The old style when what we used to do before is we would put the dough plain without oil and then put oil after. So I just prefer putting the oil as I'm mixing the dough because it makes the chapati come out very soft. So we carry on mixing. And make sure it is all evenly spread you can see it's coming on nicely and softly it's not sticking to the sides anymore if you're one who does not like messy hands you can find a spatula that bends like this one you see this is bendy I don't know if you can see but this is bendy so it's still able to knead without you touching with your hands and you'll still be able to get a nice a nice dough there nice so what i'm going to do then i'm going to knead now with my hands just to make sure that everything is mixed up properly and what i want now is to is to just use my hands to make sure that it is the dough is nice it's not sticking because you don't want it sticking so you want to knead it nicely and because i've already done most of the work with the, the spatula you can see my hands are not that messy so i'm going to leave this i'm going to cover it up with a cloth like that and i'm going to let it rest for for about 10 or so minutes and then i'm going to start rolling always make sure that the worktop where you're going to be rolling the chapatis from is clean and dry so this is my worktop So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut small pieces like that and just put them into small, roll them into small balls like that. Just use your hands to roll and to put them into small balls like that and just for the demonstration of this video i'm going to roll out the first the first three that i have rolled so you want to sprinkle a little bit of flour on your worktop take one of the balls that you've rolled out Take your rolling pin and just 
roll them out into a nice round chapati. Make sure the pan is heating at this time. The pan is on and it's heating. So when I when I finish rolling out, all I need to do is put them on the pan. Okay, so it's time to put it in the fire. And I'll keep I'll keep rolling the others. If it's, I normally measure like with um, my fist, the size. So normally do that to make sure it's not big and they are all the same size. Make sure as you roll, you flip it over. And if it's taking a little bit, just add a tiny little flour. You want to roll nicely so that it's not sticking. Add some oil to it. And flip over with your spatula. Use a metal spatula because obviously the plastic one's going to burn. So always use a metal spatula when you're cooking. See now what happens is in a fura that shows it's cooking very nicely inside. You just need to brush, use a brush to brush a little oil. You don't need a lot. If the shape is not like a very nice round shape, don't worry. But I need to in case you're looking at my nails and wondering if the nail polish will come out, this is gel, so it usually does not come off. But if you have like um, the normal nail polish that would peel, then I would suggest you take it out before you make the chapatis. Otherwise, there is the risk of the nail polish coming into the dough because a lot of the work is done with your hands so but if you're using a cleric gel type the one that don't come out then you have nothing to worry about because usually they will not come off anyway that is how it's supposed to well and then just flip over like that and that's how you make chapatis and you make sure that you put them in a container and cover it so that they can retain their softness almost cover them inside there like that and on to the next one And carry on with the rolling what you're aiming to get is a nice brown color like that and then when you flip over that's how it looks on the other side that's our chapati is coming on nicely and that's that's how they look right so that's for today guys i have finished making the chapatis thank you for following me again if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel find me it's sharon wabaraka official subscribe like if you like what you see support me as i do what i do i am also on facebook instagram and twitter you can follow me on my channels write a good comment make me feel good as i carry on doing what i do for now, I'm going to be clearing out, washing the worktop where I was making the chapatis from and just make sure that everything is clean. Until the next time, guys, for now, it is Baraka.